one is the ultimate racing experience. Mind-bending acceleration and violent braking, along with cornering speeds which defy belief. In Fernando Alonso and the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes MP422, you have one of the most formidable partnerships in Formula One. But here on the legendary Silverstone Grand Prix circuit, they're about to face a very tough challenge indeed. A one-lap staggered start race against three of the fastest Mercedes-Benz around today and piloted by a trio of top-class drivers all looking for a famous Formula One scout. No doubt about it, these really will test the pace and power of the ultimate race car and driver. First up is the brand new Mercedes-Benz C350. It boasts a 3.5-litre V6 engine which pushes out 272 horsepower and reaches standstill to 60 in just under 6.5 seconds, along with a top speed of 155 miles an hour. It's no slouch. At the wheel of the 350 is Susie Stoddart. The Scot has raced in Formula Renault, Formula 3 and now races in the DTM German Touring Car Championship with AMG Mercedes. Hello, I'm Susie Stoddart and I'm driving the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Next up is the CLK 63 AMG Black Series, a seriously impressive coupe. It's got a massive 6.3 litre V8 engine, which gets you from 0 to 60 in under 4.5 seconds and on to 186 miles an hour top speed. It also has a 7 speed paddle shift gearbox and is inspired by the official Formula One safety car, so it's no stranger to leading Formula One cars. It's quite fitting then that the man taking the controls of the CLK today is Germany's Bernd Mylander, the current Formula One safety car driver. If anyone can get the most out of the 63, it's him. Hello, I'm Bernd Mylander. I'm driving the Mercedes-Benz CLK 63 AMG Black Series. Our third car on the grid is the ultimate in touring cars, the 2007 AMG C-Class DTM. Its 4-litre V8 engine produces over 500 horsepower and with no ABS or traction control to make the driver's life easy. It's quite simply the most successful car in DTM history, winning four titles and over half its races to date. And piloting the DTM is Englishman Jamie Green, a former Formula 3 Euro Series champion and a DTM racer with AMG Mercedes. Hi, I'm Jamie Green and I'm driving the AMG DTM car. Finally, the car they've all got to beat, the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes MP422, the pinnacle of motorsport technology. Its 2.4-litre V8 engine generates over 750 horsepower at 19,000 revs. The car weighs only 600 kilograms. Its many wings generate positive downforce, which means it can corner and brake at five times the force of gravity. In charge of the MP422 is Fernando Alonso, Spain's first ever Formula One world champion. And without doubt, a man who will join the list of all-time greats in Formula One. Hello, I'm Fernando Alonso. I'm driving the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes car. The race will take place around the spectacularly fast full Grand Prix circuit, which is 3.2 miles in length. This special event will start from the Mobile One Bridge on the approach to the Abbey Chicane. All of the usual nerves down on the start line then, pre-race. The drivers are all fireproof, suited and booted and crash helmets on. Alonso stepping into the car. It's so tight inside there, you need people to help you do up the seatbelts. It's tailored like a Savile Row suit. Susie Stoddart's getting ready to lead the line. Foot on the brake and on the throttle. She's got the rear wheel spinning for maximum getaway. Now, this car would be extremely fast on the road, but in the wide spaces of Silverstone, she's going to have to get it on its door handles. Well, she's certainly doing that as they're still fitting Alonso in the car and Bernd Mylander is getting ready for the launch. They release him 19 seconds after the C-Class of Stoddard. Now, this car would scare you silly on the road absolutely flat out. Such is the power and grip that it has. Mylander then into the Abbey Chicane, across the Rumble Strip, taking the racing line, nailing that V8 for all it's worth. 20 seconds later, it's Jamie Green's turn in the DTM racing car. Alonso checks it out, and he's away. But we've got a surprise for him halfway around the lap. 
First, though, check out these graphics. Green is already heading into Bridge Corner, and Susie Stoddard, in the road car, is on the pit straight. Fernando Alonso is beginning to catch the DTM car already. Priory and towards Brooklyn. Green gives him space, and through goes the Formula One car. Okay, Fernando, I want you to box this lap. Box this lap. Please confirm. Okay, okay. So it's a pit stop then for Alonso. He's got to negotiate the pit lane on the speed limiter and take on fuel and tyres. Meanwhile, Jamie Green continues on track. Here we are approaching the Vodafone McLaren Mercedes pit crew. Fuel goes in, tyres off. Supreme teamwork from McLaren. Eight seconds, they drop the jacks and off he goes. Susie Stoddart is into Beckett's already. This is the CLK 63. And let's take a look. Stoddart on hangar straight. Mylander closing in behind her. Alonso still coming out of the pit lane. He's got a lot of work to do. Under the Mobile One bridge, down the hangar straight goes Stoddart. And Alonso is into Beckett. The car changing direction absolutely beautifully. Onto the hangar straight for him. Once again, he can see the DTM car of Jamie Green. 190 miles an hour down the hangar straight for the magnificent Stowe corner. You barely break. The helicopter flies overhead. We're still doing 150 miles an hour. And we continue to accelerate hard. A nervous look from Stoddart in the lead with one corner to go. Alonso reads the action ahead. He knows that he'll need all the power and grip of his Formula One car to sweep around the outside if he wants to win this race. And there he goes. A victory which truly shows the pace of Formula One. Well done, Fernando. Great job, great job. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Confirmation of that great job. Alonso takes the win in a time of 1 minute 53 seconds. 7 seconds quicker than the DTM racer. 27 seconds better than the CLK. And a full 48 seconds faster than the road-going C-Class. And, of course, that's including a pit stop. When you finish and, and you, you overtake the cars in the last few meters of the, of the race, you know, they seem that they have a problem in their cars because you arrive more or less 270, 300 kilometers an hour. They are running 120, so it's more or less what we achieve in, in first gear in a Formula One car. So for sure it's a big, big speed difference and, uh, you know, it's, it's quite special to overtake those cars. I don't know what they think when they see me on the mirror. To see those four cars all together and to see the pace of each car and how, how early I had to leave just to match the Formula One car around the circuit. And the sheer fact that the Formula One car can do a pit stop and still beat us all, that was pretty amazing. It's unbelievable to see the speed difference on a racetrack. How quick is a Formula One car? How quick is a DTM car? I was really surprised to drive this car and to see the speed. But in the mirror, if you see the Formula One car, it's great and it was a really, really nice day. When you're driving your car, you're on the ultimate limit and then the Formula One car overtakes you and you just cannot believe that that is possible, that, that, that a car can achieve that, that cornering speed and have that much difference and that much more pace than, than the car you're driving because you're giving it everything you've got. And I'm sure Susie and Bernd in front of me are doing the same. Um, so it is, you know, it's incredible. You just can't believe that that is possible. Well, Formula One car is extremely fast. There is no doubt about this, but for sure, I think on, on TV, uh, you know, sometimes you miss a little bit of, of the speed of the cars. And, uh, you know, a good way to, to show everybody how quick it's a Formula One car is, is with this type of comparison, because you can see your, your normal car that you drive every day is nearly one minute uh, slower than, than a Formula One car, only in four kilometers.